Lucretia Hyman says her daughter Janelle was bubbly, spontaneous, and ambitious. Her goal was to help young boys and girls learn until Friday when tragedy struck. Janaea's story has been largely overshadowed by the death of a AAA driver at the same scene, but Hyman says everyone will know her daughter's name. At 22 years old, Janaea Glover was going to school to be a teacher and raising her two-year-old son Avery with her fiancé Nick. That's what she <laughs> wanted to do was to raise her baby, you know, and just give him the love that a mother, you know, can give a child. Mm -hmm. And that was taken away from her. Taken when police say a truck driven by 29-year-old Andrew Blankenship slammed into her disabled car and the AAA truck there for roadside help. The crash killed three people, including Jenea. That's all we had was yeah, happy with, times, with like with her. So we're going to miss that. Jenea's mom, Lucretia Hyman, says she's focusing on the good times, like... And she said, Ma, let's make a TikTok. That's when I first learned about TikTok. <laughs> I'm tired of this, Grandpa. And I said, OK, well, what are we going to do? So she showed me. And we did it. <laughs> She's also asking for prayers for a family friend, Rick Glazer, who died at the scene trying to help her kids. He was always helping us. He was always there. Anytime you call him, he was right there. So he was there helping my baby. Hyman says her son, John Glover, who's now recovering from injuries to both legs, was handing Rick his car keys when tragedy struck. Please pray for him, yes, too, yes. because he witnessed the whole, like, he was standing next to his sister when it happened. Now, his mom and Janae's grandfather say they want answers as to how this crash happened and calling for justice if Blankenship, the truck driver, did anything wrong. And we hope that, you know, the law enforcement here do the right thing. We all are angry, angry. but I won't give him that, that energy. I'm going to miss my baby, but I won't give him that energy. The last we heard from the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office on Monday was that speed and intoxication were possible factors in the crash. I reached out to the department again today and was told there was no update to their investigation. They hope to release more details next week. Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.